guys, welcome back. Charger Farms here, and today we are going to be doing a new farming series on this map called Ashton Corners. Um, I've seen it in uh, a YouTube video uh, about the channel owner, um, the squad. You guys might know him. Uh, pretty good YouTube con uh, content creator for FS22. Love his videos and. Uh, yeah, this, uh, he just started an 80 series on this map, and I thought, hmm, that map actually looks pretty interesting. I might try, have to try that out. So, here we are. We're on Ashton Corners. Um, we will not be doing an 80 series like him, but we got older equipment. This is like 2000s decade. We're going to be kind of doing uh, kind of like 2021, 2022 decade. Um, just scattered equipment. Like, yeah, we have brand new Kubota skits here. here. Yeah, we have scattered equipment. Like, all our trackers and stuff are pretty old. The newest one we got is our Magnum right here, the 7120. That's our newest tractor. That's probably like a 2005 ish, probably. It's probably the newest thing we got on the farm. Besides, probably the skid steer and uh, my Kubota sidekick. You know, graduate right there. But yeah, so we will be doing a uh, pretty nice. We're going to be doing a series on here. Hopefully make quite a bit of videos on this one. I'm really interested to see what happens and yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. So today we're just gonna do a quick equipment tour, um, checking crops and yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. But if you guys are not subscribed, please do uh, hit that subscribe button down below in the channel. It'll really help me out and like the video. It'll be really cool to see uh, what you guys think of the series and stuff. So. Yeah, please do that. I want to see your guys' opinions. Okay, so we're going to fire up the Kubota Sidekick. And we are going to take a ride around the farm. I'll show you guys everything. Just my garage right there. So, well, we'll start off here at the pickup truck. We got a 2003 F250. Or, 350, my bad. I thought it was 250. Uh, F350 Ford 2003. Uh... Got the injector plus turbo upgrade, as you can see in the bottom corner there. Um, this one's got a fuel tank on the back, got stickers. Oh, yeah, stickers. Do not, I do not have a big tip on it, just a standard like chrome tip. Uh, we just got the tri ball right there on it. Uh, gooseneck for pulling trailers. Pretty good farm truck. Right now, and then right now, I'm riding my Kubota sidekick. This is gonna be kind of getting around the farm, moving some equipment, you know. Etc. Miscellaneous things. And then we'll start off here with, uh, shut that off. Okay, uh, we'll start off here with the Ford 3600 utility tractor. This is going to be a nice little auger tractor. As you can see, it's right now hooked up to my, uh, John Deere auger. Uh, John Deere 398. 398 auger. Um, right now it's going to be, right now it's kind of just centered over this for, this is a pig barn. Uh, right now, this is the pig sty right here, one of them on the farm. There's a few of them on this map, and this one's just for filling the green tank here, but I haven't actually done anything yet. I just have it set up if I were to do something. So there's that. Uh, right over here, we got the dairy set up yet. Uh, we have the dairy set up all over here. Uh, we will be doing dairy cows. I'm going to try and do pigs and dairy cows. I really want to try that. So yeah, this is going to be all dairy cows in here. Um, all this stuff is all dairy cows. This is all just uh, yard. Uh, dairy yard, so be kind of cool to see that. Um, while I'm back here, I'll just do the manure spreader. We got New Holland 185 manure spreader. Uh, hopefully, it does the job what I need to do and spreads my manure. Uh, this barn is just a decoy barn; doesn't actually do anything. It's just here, right here. We got the manure pit. Uh, this is actually for the dairy barn, I believe it works. Um, you just gotta do this, turn the pump on, and then. And there's a thing that does pipe on. Triggered it the other day. I don't know. I can't figure it out. Oh, oh there it goes. Pipe on, pump on, and then yeah, you would back your thing under it and yeah, get that all. Well, get your slow tank filled up. Okay, and then up here is just another. This barn right here is uh, another decoy barn. Um, it's got calves like in it, not like actual calves, but you know something cool. So yeah, this one's it's just got placed cabs here. They don't actually move, but that's okay. 
So, I don't think I'm ever gonna do anything with that barn, it's just here. Uh, right here is some sort of hay mall, I believe. Oh, heifer shed. Right here, it's a uh, heifer shed. Okay, so yeah, well, you have your heifers and stuff in there. Come up to the gate here, uh, gate or feed lot, drop the feed in, and yeah, they eat away. We got a grain system here, which I've seen that you have to load it up from right here. Um, okay. Uh, I think that's where we loaded up. I'm just really watching the, the squad doing that on his 80 series, so I think that's what we're gonna have to try. And here we just got some uh, animal equipment. So we got a uh, 348 John Deere Baylor. Uh, this is a Vermeer. This is like a brand new Vermeer R2 800 rake. That'd be nice to use. John Deere, oh, I don't know what model this. Oh, right there, 3955. Uh, this one's got the corn head, so I'm gonna try using this for chopping corn. Right here we got a Vermeer um, BPX9010 uh, straw chopper is for shooting straw to the pigs and cows to, for bedding. Right here we got John Deere 4020 with a loader and a bucket. Uh, we'll be using this for you know stuff that you need a loader tractor for and we'll use the tractor for other stuff. Right here we got a Minneapolis Moline UB. This is a neat little tractor. I love this thing. This thing sounds so cool. That is one of the coolest sounds I've ever heard on a tractor. That is so cool. Um, I can't wait to use this tractor. That'll be really fun. And then right here we have a Gale uh, 125 grinder mixer for pigs, just feeding grain. So, uh, let's see. Over here, we'll run over here. You know, I was supposed to take the sidekick, but I'm just kind of running around now. And here we got the combine. This is a case 2388 actual flow. Uh, we're going to be using this in the fields. Hopefully, it does really good on the farm. And I'm, I'm excited to use it for the first harvest on here. Right here we got a Wilson Ranch Hand uh, animal trailer for the F250 or F350 to pull around. And yeah, really nice to use. Right here we got a PJ 40 footer, 40 foot trailer. Yep, 40 foot. Uh, for hauling stuff. Right here we got two Kill Bros wagons for hauling grain. Kubota skits you with a bucket. Fuel tanks. Big machine shed. I swear, I guys, I gotta say, this farm's got like too much shed space. It's weird. It's got too much shed space. Alright, but up in this machine shed here, we got the uh, Case 580 24 foot disc. Uh, we're using that for disking up stubble and stuff. Right here we got John Deere 670. This is also a disc, but if you have this mod, it works as a plow. So I just have this for plowing because it's bigger than some of the other plow mods I got. Um, and it just works a lot better, so we'll probably be using that behind one of the bigger tractors over there. We have a John Deere 7000 planter, corn planter, which this thing actually works really nice. As you can see, I've used it already. Done planting off camera. Right here we got a John Deere, or John Deere, Case IH 5100 drill. Uh, this works pretty good. I like this planter. And yeah, it does good. Uh, we got the corn header here. I don't know what model. 4488 or 4408 uh, Case IH corn header for the combine. Excited to use that. We got the uh, Honeybee Airflex header 236. This is going to be pretty interesting on the case. I've done this off camera on, my, on a personal map before I did this one. It works really good. Uh, these honeybee headers work really well. They do very well. I'm impressed with them. So I'm excited to see what that does during uh, soybeans and wheat and oats and whatever I plant. So yeah, right here we got a farm all super M. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Probably just auger tractor, hay tractor maybe. Uh, just kind of pulling equipment around like the headers. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll put it to work. Uh, we got a super Oliver, uh, Oliver Super 88. This will be kind of for just smaller like hay work and I don't know maybe throw it on uh, some uh, animal equipment I don't know well I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet so we'll see Oliver 1855 yeah 1855 Oliver uh, pretty interested in to use this I'm thinking this tractor will probably be running the manure spreader most of its life I don't know yet probably use it for possibly disking or uh, doing some other field work or something, hay work maybe, we'll see. 
We got a Minneapolis Moline U302. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Basically, I don't even know what I'm going to do with all these tractors. I'll find uses for them, but basically just have it, use it. I'll use it for something. 1206, we'll use this for uh, working on the farm. 1086, we'll use this on the farm, obviously. 780 Alice. Hydro 186 IH. I think I'm going to turn this to a mixer tractor. I think I might put this as my mixer tractor instead. Um, get a mixer for the farm here. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Uh, we'll see though. Then uh, we got the K7120 as you guys saw earlier. So yeah, that's pretty much all the equipment. Um, besides, okay, and then over here we got four wagons. We got a John Deere hay wagon. Uh, two Meyer chopper boxes, and then a kick whack wagon for, uh, yeah, hay bales. So, yeah, that's pretty much the farm. Not much on here. Oh, and a power washer. Gotta have a power washer. So, yeah, there isn't much on... So, yeah, that's pretty much all we got on the farm for now. Um, don't think I'm gonna need much else for a while, anyway. Um, should be all lot of equipment that seems like doesn't seem like a lot but it's a lot it almost seems like a lot oh we got corn right there we got corn right here that we gotta get harvesting uh right here we got beans we got corn beans beans oh yeah we got crops to harvest guys i didn't even know they were ready to go i last i seen these things that were like like still growing i didn't know they were ready okay we have harvesting to do that but Man, that's gonna be okay. Wow. Okay, let's hurry. We gotta. Okay, throw that there. <laughs> we are grabbing stuff so quick. I did not see that so fast. Okay, back up the combine. Uh, we're gonna start with corn harvest today. I did not plan this part of the video. I did not plan this. Okay, let's get get that combine warmed up. Okay, we gotta get these wagons on a tractor here. Uh, let's grab. Uh, shoot the tractor. We'll do the Alice. 780 Alice. Put these on the wagons, quick. This is a nice tractor. I like this one. Okay, we'll throw, these on, throw this on the Kilgore's wagon. It's here. Okay, Fill this up over to the side of the field over here. Fill it up right here. I think it'll be fine. Okay, that's fine there. Let's go grab the combine. This was kind of a surprise to me. Okay, let's get that unfolded right away. This one's got the auto unfold, guys. We're special. What? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta stop, I gotta stop. Hang on, get back up. I was heading to the field, I'm like, wait, what am I doing? I don't have a header. Oh boy, okay, okay. Let's go to the shed here. We'll grab the header quick. Okay, got the header. Having some corn, but this will be pretty interesting how it turns out. I'm, I don't know how this is going to turn out. This hopefully looks really good. Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up sir. Harvest. Alright. Doing good. She's harvesting. Corn is really good. I did not expect to be having to do this so fast, guys. This was crazy. Wow. Holy crap. I did not expect to be doing this so fast. This was not part of the video. I thought it was just quick to showing me what crops I had planted. That was pretty much it. No, we're harvesting corn already. Holy shoot. Okay. That's alright, though. We'll, we'll do a little bit of harvesting and then we'll uh, probably end the video. I don't know how much harvesting we're going to do, though. We'll do a little bit here. Just a little bit. Not much. It's doing really good. I think this corn's going to do pretty nice. Hopefully the pigs I'm going to buy eventually. Hopefully uh, pigs like this. 
I know, I, I know farm some big corn. Hopefully this is uh, some good corn. Looks like it. Looks like it's doing good. Alright guys, we're on the second pass here. Oh man, we're almost full there. 70%. Ah, oh, I missed one. Shoot. That's alright. Oh man. As much as I love harvesting, this is going to take quite a while. This is going to be a long time to do. Alright, we are 95% full on the combine here. Gosh, I keep missing the values. I keep missing stocks. You guys see that? I keep missing. Darn it. Alright. Oh, 99%. We're almost full here. Doing pretty good, actually. Oh, oh shoot. We just ran over a bunch of corn. Wow, okay. Oh, okay, corn's good. Uh, that pipe goes out. I'm going to. I'm just going to tap around, guys. I'm sorry. I know it's not realistic, but I really don't care. There we go. Got my wagons. Now pull up to the. Yeah, there we go. I'm loading. Doing pretty good. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Alright, combine just got done. We're gonna actually hire a worker here. Oh, never mind, I guess I'm a worker because they're done. So I guess you have to do it ourselves. Darn it. I wanted to at least have a worker hired for the work day. But I guess you don't get what you want. So I suppose I'll see you guys when we uh, have another full grain tank, huh? Here and the combine we should be full here, right there. Bingo. Alright. Some load in there. Uh, tap to the house. Here we go. Alright, let's go bring this over to the combine here and unload it again and yeah, keep it moving. Oh man, that's a nice sight. I like that. Some ADLs pulling two nice Kinsey, or Kinsey, Kilbros, green carts. Oh, that's a nice one. Pulling two nice Kilbros carts, and now this one field knocked down. Doing actually pretty good. We did pretty well so far. It's actually not taking as long as I thought it would. But yeah. So yeah, I guess we'll keep her going here. Get this one unloaded and keep it going. Combine just got full once again. Uh, we're going to go on order. This should be the last load on this wagon, hopefully. I'm not sure though. So, uh, I'm not used to having good brakes on a tractor. This one breaks really, really easily. Which is, it's a good problem. It's good. It's good. 
I kind of like how the tractors have slower brakes and they stop a little farther back. But it's okay. It's fine. And we're full. Alright, so I guess I'm going to have to set the auger system, but I'll do that next time because that'll take probably a little while to get going, but it shouldn't take too much. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, this is part one of Corn Harvest. I'll be doing part two real soon, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, please smash the like button and uh, hit subscribe. I really uh, would like to see you guys um, to check out this channel. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Please, uh, yeah, please do that. And yeah, if you guys want to see more content, uh, content like this, uh, look at all look at all the videos on the channel. Uh, follow and yeah. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next.